Hello student, today we are going to understand one more new chapter in computer. So today we are going to do advanced feature of open office writer that is from class 5th. In this chapter we are going to understand few things that is to create a table and enter data in it to add or remove rows and column from a table to apply border and shading to table to format text in columns to insert a header and footer to change the page orientation and to print a document these all things we are going to understand in this chapter first of all let we understand the very most important thing how to create a table in open office before that we will understand two things which is related with a table two terms that is column row and cell friends you can able to see on your screen that one horizontal line is given this one you can see my cursor is moving this horizontal line where you can see shantanu third one two three is written that together is called as a row okay and whatever things given in this grade three six and six this all grade this box you can able to see this together it is called column so you can see that all the vertical things present that is become a column so column is in the form of vertical way whereas the rows are in the form of horizontal and if i talk about a single box where the abha is written that single box is called as a cell so each and every cell which is present in this table that is called as a cell so i hope friends you have understood this concept of row and column once again i am repeating the horizontal line that is called as a row whereas vertical line that is called as a column and if i talk about a single box then it is called as a cell after performing the practically form of making table in that we have to insert few things but first of all we will understand how to make a table and then we can prepare few data into it that is called inserting the data in the table so let's go we'll do this thing practically okay student for preparing a table we are using a software that is called open office you can also use microsoft office in that we have word that also you can use but though it is a free software available easily on the site so you can use open office for that is in our syllabus and that you have to use text document okay so as you click on text document you will get this kind of interface on your screen now first of all we will understand how to make a table so we have two options if you go on this table you can see that insert is given what we have to insert the table so either you can use control plus f12 from the keyboard then also you will get table on your screen or you can use this manual function click on table then click on insert and go on this table then one more dialog box will appear and it will ask you that of how many columns and row do you want your table so by default it is given as 2 you can change it by using this drop down or up keys are given you can just press it and you can change it 
I'm doing four or three, you can, and two rows can change it to three. Okay, or use it as four. Four. Okay, then what you have to do? Nothing else you have to do in this. You have to just go on with OK button. You can see that on your screen, one table is there. Table is created. How many rows and column we have taken? This is the column vertically, and these are the rows horizontally. Okay. Now we have to fill the data into it. How to do it? So just you have to keep the cursor in a particular cell, and then you can type your data. Like I'm typing name, grade, roll number. You can type marks. It's a rough data. So friends, you have to just go on with filling up the data, whatsoever you are doing. We are just doing a concept of table. Now you can put name, like we can give Ajay. We can put Rina. And one more branch. You can put grade, like I'm giving third grade, then it's fourth, and again it is a fifth. You can put any roll number, like 23, 20, 40, 50. I can give marks. I have given marks also. So this way you can put the data into the table. Wherever you want to put the data, just put your cursor over there and you can able to fill the data into it. So this is we have understood how to prepare a table and then how to fill the data. Now we will see what next we have to do. Now student, we have to understand how to edit the table. How to edit the table. Like if I want to change the heading, and you can able to see that heading is given. That is somewhat more darker in the way the rest are. Or you can change the font also. Make it as bold, italic. Okay can be able to underline the heading also. These all comes under the formatting the text. Practically, we will do this thing also. Now, student, first of all, we have to select the row or cell, whichever you want to change it or want to format that you have to select it like i have did it will turn into black uh, it will turn into blue in color how you will select you can just click the left button of the mouse and drag the cursor you have to click the left button of the mouse and then drag it you can able to select the row either column that now i want to change it into bold so you have to click on bold the student you can see that it has become bold and somewhat darker in color from rest of this data uh, you can make it italic also you can see the letter becomes italic and you can put an underline also if you want these all comes under the formatting then you have this alignment section also. Alignment, that means the letter will align where it will be. So align left, so already it is there and left inside. If you want to place in center, you have to click on center. So you see that data becomes in the center of the cell. Then you can put right. As you click on right, all the data will be transferred to right side. If you click justified, so again it will be moved to the left side. Now you can change the font also. 
it is of 12 inch size you can also change in 13 14 15 whichever you want like i'm changing to 14 you can see the size is increasing i'm changing to 20 again the size is changed yes and you can change the font also this how it is written this many we have you can select any one like uh, i'm selecting this one you can see how it is changed so these all comes under the formatting of table i hope students you all have understood how to prepare a table how to format a table what is row column and cell Thank you, student, for watching this video. Take care.